Hello, my name is Daniel Gita. I'm Qualitest's AI Solution Set Lead. Uh, I've been working in IT and software for around about 10 years now uh, in a number of routes from development automation uh, through to solutions architecture and consultancy. And I currently lead Qualitest's solution set for artificial intelligence. That's both testing artificial intelligence and using artificial intelligence for better testing. So artificial intelligence has been around for a number of years now, but recently it started to become uh, much more widely accepted and almost commoditized in industry. Artificial intelligence has the ability to take huge sets of data far bigger than we could use in standard manual calculations or traditional systems and draw rules and insights from them. Um, this gives us a, a wonderful opportunity to build new data-driven and personalized insights into our customers. The problem is this also comes with challenges. Traditional testing methods don't really sit that well with how we would need to test artificial intelligence. We've also got the fact that due to consumer shift, people want more content faster than ever before. Um, artificial intelligence is being fed into this content to make that content more personal too, but we need to test something that we've never come across before. We're doing more testing than ever before. So whilst it is a huge powerhouse that we can add, it also comes with a few issues for us. Software testing is changing in two ways to meet the needs of AI. First of which is AIs are different than the way uh, software was built before. It used to be that when we built a system, we knew the rules, we knew the transformations our data would go through. AIs don't really do this. With AIs, we've given them the sample inputs, the outputs. They tend to define their own rules. This gives us a challenge in that we can't see inside the logic of what the AI is doing particularly effectively. So we're seeing a whole evolution of new techniques and approaches um, with regards to how do you test artificial intelligent functionality. The other side we're seeing is how can we use artificial intelligence to better power our testing. In other words, AIs are fantastic at taking large sets of data and finding new insights and new truths in that data. They sometimes find patterns that are hidden from us because we, as people, simply can't process the width of different points of data that may have a bearing. So one of the ways that we're uh, looking at using AI for better testing within Qualitest is can we use artificial intelligence to promote better test planning and better test prioritization. We have a product we're working on called the Test Predictor, which uses artificial intelligence to analyze your test data and help you perform better risk-based testing. So AI Test Predictor takes a look at uh, a number of different factors of software data and test data. So we look at things like source control systems, con uh, continuous integration setups, test management and execution results um, and production data. We're looking for where defects are, where problems have historically been found in the software and what testing has been done on what times. And we use an artificial intelligence engine to take all of this data in and try to prioritize tests that are likely to fail on areas of the product that are likely to have defects in them. Once upon a time, we used to use uh, risk-based testing to do this. We would look at the different features of a product um, order them by the risk to the business if they failed and the likelihood of a failure. With the test predictor, we're effectively using an artificial intelligence to empower that process. We're making risk-based testing more automatic. So the data that the test predictor uses often lives within an organization already. We're not asking um, for new data to be, to be pulled in just to use the test predictor. We draw on systems that people have probably been filling in for years and haven't realized they're sitting on a mine of data. Things like the versioning history of the application, at what point did a change introduce a new defect? The test history of the application, who ran what tests at what points, what were those tests looking for? The production history, how many defects slipped right into live, were they then traced back and can we find the problems? We're drawing on data that almost certainly exists in many different systems for an organization already. For instance, things like JIRA, like ALM, um, existing automation run result logs. We draw from the systems that are already there and we put this data into the predictor. So there's what I like to think of as two types of key benefits in the tool. Um, the first and foremost key benefit is we provide a data-driven uh, decision layer um, to the test management. 
we, we provide risk-based testing um, based on the actual data of an organization, not, for instance, the sentiment, the experience, or the feeling of testers that have just done this before. The other side of it is going through a lot of the data to build the AI capability, um, to, to perform the feature engineering and feature selection required to generate the test prediction for an organization. We start to see a lot of other data insights. For instance, in identifying um, which tests are likely to pass or fail, we start to see things like, well, which modules are more problematic than others? Which testers have a good or a bad track record at finding defects? Where are the test cases that never find any value? For instance, if this test has, for the last 25 runs, not been likely to fail, is that test actually truly adding any value anymore? Is it testing something that's fundamentally stable, or is it a test that doesn't look in enough detail to start to find issues? So the first clear-cut benefit is we help streamline the decisions, and we inform the decisions for how do you do better test planning. The second benefits come in from more of a quality engineering perspective, what does the test predictor tell me about other aspects of the, of the health of my test process? With regard to the organizations that can use it, the kind of data we are drawing on is not specific to any one industry um, or any one type of application. The data that we use to understand and to build test predictions will apply to any software product. We're interested in the test data, the test cases, the test history, the run times, the software changes. All organizations building software have this data. The only question is, have they been capturing it? Test Predictor will help you identify tests that do and do not need running. Now, depending on your organization, you can take that information one of two ways. Um, some organizations may choose not to run the tests that the predictor is fairly sure are not likely to fail. In those organizations, you now free up engineers' time. They can go and focus on bigger aspects of the quality life cycle, on building better quality into the product. In other organizations, it lets you front load the testing. You can ensure that defects are detected as early as possible in the testing cycle to maximize fix and retest time. In practical terms, we've shown that the test predictor on a medium-sized rollout was able to get up to 80% accuracy in detecting the likelihood of failing tests. Using this 80% accuracy threshold, we were able to take this organization's historic test data and identify that roughly 40% of their testing um, was comparatively low risk. This allows up to 40% of test engineering time to be spent on other more valuable aspects. Maybe that's identifying why these tests were not adding value. Maybe that's in looking at ways you could clear other existing areas of manual test debt out of the process or focus on better testing elsewhere. Qualitest used the test predictor in partnership with our customers. Um, we work with your existing subject matter experts, your test and development professionals to understand where the data in your system is to help build the data process and the pipeline that needs to work to the predictor out. When the predictor is implemented and deployed for a customer, it seamlessly integrates with our Qualitest dashboard to give you the outputs and the insights into your prediction. Um, we can also look to integrate with other systems and other output mechanisms if you want. In other words, whilst the predictor is, an is a productized offering from Qualitest, we make it as seamless to work with your system, but we tailor it to make sure it is the, it is the ideal prediction engine for a customer.